Hello, I'm Shane Beatty here from Narnie in County Kildare. Uh, we're tillage farmers here, farming with my father and uncle. So I suppose throughout the year we, we do a lot of delivering of hay and straw and silage. So the use for loaders around here is, is pretty high. Nearly every, every tractor nearly has a loader for us. So um, we, just, we, we find them handier because when you go delivering to a lad's yard, you don't have to rely on them unloading you. Or anything, you do it all yourself, and it's just it's just handier for us in general, really. So I suppose we replaced the we had a ten-year-old tractor there, so it should a lot of hours. So it was time to time to replace. We went over to Fitzpatrick's in Kildare to look at a few tractors one day, and uh, they had they had this tractor there. So push came to shove. We got we came to a deal, and it didn't have a loader at the time, so we had a choice of loaders to put on it. So. Eventually we, we, we went for the quickie as we have we have two other quickies on, on, on tractors and we're very happy with them so it seemed the right option and, and they were competitively priced so it, it was a no brainer really to go for the quickie. It's um it's fairly reliable, it's a reliable loader like we have the other two there for a number of years and there hasn't been a thing done to them. The visibility out of the cab with one, it's quite narrow, so like for what we'd be doing, especially with square bales, it's very handy that way to, so you can see what you're doing. The bales that we handle here, they're six foot by two foot by one and a half foot. They're not your standard size bale. So it's quite a lot of them to be moving at one point. So that's why the, the sturdiness in the loaders is quite important for us here. And um, the reason going for the self leveling is, is again, because of the square bales. Um, it just, it makes life an awful lot handier for when we're maneuvering so often and so much. Um, and also, I have, I went for the no frills option of the manual joystick over the electric one. That was my own personal preference because I had an electric joystick and it was just too bouncy for what I wanted. Um, so the manual one I can, I can use at my own pace and it's, it's just a lot easier for me to use personally with the square bales and round. But overall, I, I, I'd rather the manual joystick. Uh, the reach for stacking, because we do all our stacking here with the tractor loaders, and um, there's plenty of height to stack our square bales up 12 high in the sheds um, without any without any problems, as you can do it at your ease. And we've got the quick coupler on it, so when we take it on and off, you know, once you do it once, you'll get it in five minutes, taking it off and taking it back on again. It's very, very simple to do. Um, but I suppose we'd mainly keep the loader on all year round. It might only be off for two months of the year, maybe. But other than that, they stay on. So we'd be doing a lot of road work. And it has the soft drive on the loader. So on the road, it's it's a very smooth loader on, on, on the road. There's no bouncing, there's no nothing with it. It's just, it's completely, completely smooth. It works very well out in the field, especially when you're going over tram lines. And maybe more so noticeable this year when the tram lines may be a bit deeper from being a bit damper. Um, but overall, the soft drive now, in fairness, with the square bales, it, it keeps them on it. It's been a difficult harvest, all right, this year, I suppose. The loader will stay on now probably another week or two, get the last of the bales wrapped up, and uh, the loader will come off then, and she, she will go on the drill for the for the winter campaign and so on, and then she'll be back on for the winter delivering. 